Friends, I have just had the busiest day of work from home since the beginning of quarantine and I'm not complaining because I am working. Um, a lot of comments from you all saying, where have you been on YouTube? And I totally agree. I know I have not been making videos as frequently. I got no one to blame but myself. I feel like I'm less interesting right now because I'm not racing bikes and I'm not doing anything super adventurous. So I'm just gonna give you a snapshot of my life as it is now. That's my work desk. It's got great light. And and it's also really close to all of the snacks and coffee. Um, so I work from home every day. And I think the thing I'm most proud of, being able to do like my indoor cycling workouts indoors and at home. I know, I know that sounds repetitive, but I always went to a spin studio and I never did it at home. So now I'm actually doing it at home, not on that bike. And I'm keeping my bikes in better shape now. I'm actually doing bike maintenance today. So that's a new thing. But the thing I'm most proud of is this. On my plant propaganda, Navigation is on point, baby. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful nuggets. I have them in my bathroom as well. And this is one of my propagated pothos. So this little one came from the vines of that one. And this one's getting a little leggy. I don't know if I'm using actual plant terms. So, but you know, see, he's got this long vine here. So it's time to chop him up and use his legs to make a beautiful plant like this one. Propagation project. So again, I took the stems of the mother plant. I don't know if that's what you actually call it. And then put it in the jar and replace the water weekly. And then you get these beautiful little roots that start to grow. And he's ready to be planted. I just don't have a planter for him right now. So I have to go find a new planter before I can stick him in a pot. I've been finding this plant propagation hobby super therapeutic right now during COVID. Um, I've wrote, written about it on my Instagram, but my cousin passed away from coronavirus and you know, some close friends of mine have lost people and it's just so therapeutic because it's literally making new life while you're watching, you know, current life be very tumultuous or even end. So not to get too deep in it, but plants are life. So I'll just link a few of my favorite little propagation tutorials in this little short vlog update. And maybe you guys will get into it too, especially if you live in Southern California, it's so easy. This is like the mother load over here. I don't know the names of all these. I think this is a paddle plant. This one was grown from a cutting, also grown from cuttings. I think this one's called lavender scallops. I'm not sure. They get a little leggy. I think I'm supposed to cut them and replant them. Not sure. He grew those two little ears. That's like my Mickey Mouse cactus. Those are new. And one of my favorites is this fire stick plant because it's like orange and I like the pot I put it into. Super easy to do. Literally snip. Um, he came from a large bush. So I just snipped off a piece, stuck it in the dirt, filled it with cactus oil, and that's it. Creates its own roots and does its thing. Same thing from this. These rosettes came from that mother plant over there. So that's the update of what I've been doing. Riding bikes, propagating plants, and reading books. I'm almost finished with White Fragility, working on Black Wall Street, and reading simultaneously Untamed, um, because I've been seeking books written by women by the age of 40 and up, which is probably a lot of books, but specifically about that decade since I'm in it. In quarantine! Thanks for being patient with me on my YouTube channel. I'm so glad y'all still watch this, and I promise I'll put up some more exciting bike content soon.